welcome back to Consultants Corner. I'm Rebecca Brizzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. I have this playlist called Bex's Box. Hat tip to Emily for giving me the name. You know who you are. As in my soapbox. This is where I get to rant. And that's where we are again today. So just bear with me on this one. I get basically cold called by somebody to sell me something, of course. And they kept coming back to this message of work with us, partner with us. We treat clients like family. And it just so happens that my family and I are very close and we get along very well, but I'm also very aware that not everybody treats their family all that well. A lot of people take their family for granted. A lot of people don't get along with their family. A lot of people feel that they're thrown into rooms with their family members who are people with whom they have nothing in common but are obligated to spend time with because they're family. Now, yes, we all love and care about our family. Client relationships are not family, nor should they be. My point is I don't actually want to be treated like family by a service provider. I want to be treated as a client by a service provider. My relationship with my family is completely different. And yes, it's one of trust and respect and friendship. And those are all good things to have in a client service provider relationship as well. But it still isn't the same thing. I have a commercial relationship with my service provider for one thing. I do not pay my family for the amount of time that I spend with them. In fact, we don't really keep tallies on who owes who what in the family. Part of what always makes me smile with this too is the fact that half of my extended family is Italian on my mother's side, and it is quite typical to think of family as the place where wars begin. All the classic movies, all the classic jokes are about families getting together for Easter lunch or for Christmas lunch or for birthday lunches and everybody yelling at everybody else. That's not what I want to happen when I'm meeting with a service provider. So what is my rant today? It's about this whole we treat you like family thing, we want to be friends with you thing. Don't be friends, don't be family. Be a good service provider. Be a great consultant. Be a trusted advisor. Be a guide through people's business. Whatever the services that you provide, be that. Don't be Cousin Joe. Don't be Uncle Jack. Don't be Aunt Susie or Niece Marguerite. What your clients expect from you is caring and respect and to be treated well. They also expect you to keep promises and provide your services and be honest. They expect you to have integrity. Some of these things they expect from their family. Some of these things they would like from their family but don't actually get. Some of these things never cross their mind when they're with their family. And some of these things would be weird coming from their family. You're not a family member and it doesn't mean that you're not important to your clients. It also doesn't mean that you're not valuable to your clients. You are whatever service provider you are. I am a management consultant to my clients. I work with management teams to determine the best process to run and grow their business. That's what they expect from me. Everything associated with that is what they expect from me. I'm not trying to be a family member. My point is focus on what makes you good at the thing that you do, at the value that you bring. What makes you good at the thing that you call yourself? What makes you good at the reason for which people pay you money? Focus on that, be high value there, be respectful in that, be honest and friendly in that arena. That's the relationship you want to have with your client. And yes, some of those things overlap, trust and respect and friendship. It's a Venn diagram, however, and those two circles are not completely overlapping. Don't promise you'll be like family. Promise you'll be really good at whatever it is that you're promising them. Do my rant videos have homework? Well, this one does. And your homework is to write down what it is that you do. Describe the relationship and the promises that you can make to a client without trying to be family, without trying to be a friend. Some of the words might apply even if you were family or friend, but that's not the point. Create the list that describes the relationship you have with your client. Focus on that and stick to that. And I will see you, of course, at the next video. Bye now.